Hey guys, so what I want to do today is I, I want to paint these calipers red. I think these are really good looking calipers and I think uh, being red will look really sharp with my red accents and you know, red always looks good in, in calipers to me. Um, so it, it's actually not that hard to do yourself. It just takes a little bit of time and effort and um, some patience if you want to do it well and it, it, the results will turn out really well. So before you jack up the car completely, what you probably want to do is break loose the, these nuts. Uh, not take them, loosen them uh, completely, but just break them loose so um, there's not a whole lot of torque on them so that you can remove them easier, unless you have some kind of impact wrench. But you know, most people don't. Uh, I have one, but I still like to break, break it loose a little bit. And then after that, we can jack it, jack it up uh, completely. I have... Um, block stoppers on the other two tires on the other side of the car. You don't, you, you definitely want to make sure you're safe before you do this. Alright, All right, so what we're going to need to do next is we're going to need to clean these calipers really, really well. Uh, we're going to use brake, brake cleaner for that. I have this brake parts cleaner that I got at the Walmart. We're going to spray everything down, get all the brake dust out because you, if you have any brake dust, you know, it's, it's not good, the paint won't stick on as well. So you have to make sure it's nice and clean before you get started. Put a rag or something on the bottom to, to catch all the, the fluid that's going to come out. And this stuff is very strong, so be careful. Right, so I'm going to use a, a, a hard plastic wire brush it. I guess it's not really a wire brush in that scenario. Uh, I, I don't want to use metal. I'm afraid that will scuff it up too much, but I'm just going to use a hard plastic. And then that, that'll get, get the little cracks and corners. So now there are two ways you can do this. I could tape everything all up everywhere all around and then I could um, spray it on. And what I'm using is this Rust-Oleum uh, caliper paint or what, what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to use this paint it's an aerosol but I'm going to spray it onto a brush and I'm going to brush it onto the calipers and that actually is much less of a mess the, the paint is a little bit thicker but there's a less there's less chance of running uh, the paint running if you put on too thick of a coat and it still looks pretty good I've done it both ways and I do think spraying it will look a little bit better. So I just sprayed used the aerosol and sprayed the paintbrush into a reservoir and then I'm going to use the, the drippings from that reservoir to get the paint. I'm going to try to apply the paint pretty evenly and uh, you can see when you do it like this you don't have to tape everything up. You should be able to get to everything without taping it up and you won't get on the, the brake disc or anything like that. Well, I decide that the foam brushes just break apart too early, too easily, so I'm going to go back to a brush. The brush allows you to get into the cracks and corners better. All right, two brush layers later, I'm not real happy with how, how evenly it's coming out. It's not as even as I'd like, so I'm going back to using the spray can. And I take everything up, and I'm going to finish off the last coat with the spray can, and hopefully it'll be smoother. All right, so this is what it looks like with that uh, extra sprayed on coat. And next up, now that it's... All right, so my audio officially died, so I'm going to have to do a voiceover. But I need to add the decals now. And I got these decals from eBay, and you're going to have to apply them to a dry paint. Make sure your paint is completely dry. You will have to carefully remove the film from the decal. You don't want to pull out the decal at the same time. So you want to take it out, press it on really tight, and make sure everything's secure. Then apply a couple layers of clear coat. All right, here's a close-up of the finished product. Audio difficulties again, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, definitely spraying is better than doing the hand brushing. These rear brakes don't need to be as smooth, so I use the paintbrush. Put on that second coat, and I... Same thing as the front, we're going to put on this decal, and then I'm going to, I'm going to put this decal right over here. The decal is a little bit tricky to, to take off, so you're going to have to um, 
kind of bend the, the lower paper to get it to stick onto the, the contact paper. Sticks, you should be able to get it on. Okay. Hey, doggy. <laughs> it's okay. Make sure the decal is on really good. And we'll peel it off. Alright, after that I like to make sure it's on. And then we'll put on the clear coat. And brushed on a couple of layers of clear coat and now I have to do the same thing to the other side. Mm -hmm.